Father, I come before you on this morning, December 30th, first thanking you for the gift of life, thanking you for another day, thanking you for waking me up this morning and allowing me to have a restful sleep. Thank you for keeping me all throughout this year, oh God. You are faithful. And on this morning, I praise you, Father. Hallelujah. You are worthy of praise. You are worthy of glory. You are worthy, O oh God. And I just bless your holy name on this morning. Father, I pray in the name of Jesus Christ that you would forgive me of anything that I have said, thought, done, or felt in my heart that was not pleasing unto you. I thank you for the blood of Jesus Christ that was shed for the remission of my sin. And I thank you for your word that says there is no condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus. I am an imperfect vessel, dearly beloved by a perfect God. And for that, I am grateful, Father. Thank you for loving me. Thank you for keeping me. Thank you for guiding me. Thank you for protecting me. Thank you for providing for me. There is no way for me to thank you for all that you have done for me. But I bless your holy name on this morning, Father. I thank you for the gift of salvation. I thank you for your loving kindness and your mercies toward me. And I thank you for every member of the church all over the globe, those who are saved, sanctified, and filled with your Holy Spirit. And I thank you for all of the lost souls that you are calling in all of those who will be saved. I bless your holy name this morning for them. I thank you for a mind to pray for all of us throughout the month of December. And I thank you for all of the answered prayers, Lord God. You answer prayer and I just bless you this morning. I thank you this morning for hearing the cries of your people. Father, on this morning, I am praying for all of the kingdom marriages within the church that are coming forth in the year 2024. Father, the Bible says when the enemy comes in like a flood, you lift up a standard against him. So first, I am praying for those in the body of Christ who are currently in deception of any kind regarding kingdom marriage. The enemy has come in like a flood and he has completely bastardized the prophetic but I'm asking in the name of Jesus that you would set the captives free. I am praying for those who have been led astray by the enemy and are currently believing for something that you never promised. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ that before the new year 2024 rolls in, that you would, by your power, utterly destroy every yoke of bondage and deception May your people go into this new year free from the bondage of adhering to false prophetic words, lies, and deception of the enemy. Far too many of your people have been waiting years for something that you never promised. And I am praying in the name of Jesus that you would completely dismantle those lies and set the captives free. I am also praying that as they come out of agreement with deception, that in your loving kindness and mercy, you would reveal to them what you do have for them, Father. Jeremiah 29, 11 tells us that you have plans to give us a hope and a future. And so I bless your holy name on this morning and I thank you that even though many have been deceived, there is greater. There still is greater. And I just thank you, O oh God. For those that have received a direct word of marriage from you and have been standing for many years, I am praying in the name of Jesus that 2024 be the year they physically lay hold of the promise you have given them so long ago. Father, not everyone has been called to a kingdom marriage for your glory, but for those who have, I pray in the name of Jesus, a special anointing. Oh, yes, Lord, all of the years, all of the tears, all of the long suffering, all of the seasons of watching others step into their marital destiny while they waited on you, all of the persecution for waiting on you, all of the spiritual warfare within the mind that they had to endure, all of the rejection by the spouse who has been running, all of the pain of the refiner's fire as you prepared them. All that these men and women have been through in order to be the vessels you desire for these purpose-filled unions. 
Oh God, these people have been through much. But I thank you for your word that reminds us that what we have sown in tears, we will reap in joy. Father, you waste nothing and every experience they have had to go through will be used for your glory during these end times. I pray these marriages come forth with power according to your perfect will in the lives of your people. I pray the testimonies of these unions are told from one end of the earth to the other in order to encourage others in the faith. I pray these unions feel like heaven on earth for those who trusted you alone with this very important decision of their lives. There is your permissive will, and then there is your perfect will. And I am praying for those who have waited on you that your perfect will would be manifest in the earth. So many have gone ahead of you and they have married exactly who they wanted to marry in the time frame they wanted to get married. I'm not talking about those people right now. I'm talking about the ones who have waited for years to do this your way, that you be glorified. Hallelujah. I pray these unions are forever rooted in Christ and that no matter what the enemy throws at them, they will forever stand because they were built on the rock by your hands. May these marriages be fortified and protected because you built them, Father. I pray these unions prosper and grow in you. And as their souls prosper, every other area of their lives will prosper as well. I pray these marriages are blessed with financial resources to kingdom build. I pray these marriages produce godly children and showcase the nuclear family as you originally created. Father, there has been such a, a twisting and a perversion of what family looks like, oh God. But I bless your holy name that you are creating these marriages and you are putting them on display to represent your kingdom here in the earth. I pray these marriages carry your glory from one end of the earth to the other, O oh God. You are raising up these unions for a time such as this and in an increasingly dark world void of true agape unconditional love, you are calling on the church to be the light. I pray these marriages are divinely protected from word curses, jealous people, evil eyes, evil doers, and agents of Satan sent to steal, kill, and destroy. I pray in the name of Jesus for those couples that will not have a large wedding. You know, those who have been planning to have a large wedding, but those that you will direct to the courthouse and instruct them to marry in secret. May they heed your instruction with gladness, knowing that all things work together for the good of those who love the Lord and are called according to your purposes. I pray in the name of Jesus for the couples that will have a large, beautiful wedding. May your glory rest on their ceremonies and everyone in attendance. May your presence be felt at these weddings and may their special days be filled with the fullness of joy. Father, I pray in the name of Jesus for all the men and women who have gone through the wilderness, who have yielded to your preparation, who have received deliverance and healing, and are finally ready to step into the unions that you have for them in 2024. I pray all of these prayers in the matchless name of Jesus Christ, and may they be answered according to your perfect will on today. Amen.